Good morning, Life Kids. So, I hope you all had an amazing week. Last week in school, last week of doing schoolwork, straight into the summer holidays where you're going to hopefully have a fantastic time and the sun's going to come back out and we can get outside and have some more fun. Okay, I'm just going to go in straight into our prayer this week. So, you want to close your eyes, hands together. Let's go. Dear God, we thank you for today. Thank you that we've had a great week this week at home or at school or wherever we've been. I pray you give us an even a more amazing week for the start of our summer holiday and that we have a great time in Kids Church this morning and learn about you. Amen. Awesome. Okay, so 30 second challenge. Missed it out last week. Gave you the week off. I'm not going to say your Bible because you should have your Bible with you already. Standard practice. Have that Bible ready for life, kids. Okay, number two. So your second thing you're actually going to have to go and get this week is a sock. Okay, so you need a sock. You've got 30 seconds. Go grab a fresh, clean sock, or you can take your old sock off. Go. It's an item that's from my house, so the likelihood is it's in your house somewhere. But there are some tricky ones this week. The first time I did it, way too easy. All of you were just like, it's this, it's this, it's this. So this week, there's some tricky ones. There's some easy ones, and there's some tricky ones. So tell you what, you've got 20 seconds, write up what you think the answer is in the box on the chat, and I will tell you any points to anybody who gets them right. Okay, so we're gonna go into the first one, 20 seconds, we're gonna show you what it is, and then straight into the next one. And we have 10 to do. Okay, so there's a lot of points you could be earning there. And I'm going to give 10 for every single one you get right. Okay, let's go.
it is nearly that time to worship but before we get into worship we're going to read you a psalm and it's psalm 100 easy if you want to read that later um, you can do that but psalm 100 is easy to remember it says this on your feet now applaud god bring a gift of laughter sing yourselves into his presence know this god is god and god god (laughs) he made us we didn't make him we're his people we well tended sheep enter with a password thank you make yourselves at home talk in praise thank him worship him for god is sheer beauty all generous in love loyal always and forever i love that bit where it says enter with a password thank you hey that's all we need to do this morning is to thank him because god has done so much for us so what i want you to do in the count of three i want you to shout out as loud as you can it's one thing that you thank god for have a think 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 okay are you ready one two three Wow, that's amazing. Our God is awesome. And so we're going to have a time of worship now. We're going to clap our hands. We're going to raise our hands because God deserves our best praise ever, right? All we have to do is say those that password. Thank you. Thank you, God. That's what we're doing when we're singing praises to him. We're thanking him so much for what he's done for us. So up on your feet. Are you ready? Let's go. has fallen when fear is coming still you're calling me when faith is lost and my hope exhausted you will be my strength when my mind says I'm
we're continuing the story of Moses. So we've learned about Moses as a baby in the bulrushes. Then we learned about how he grew up in Egypt and he was classed as Pharaoh's son. And then when we got to the end of our story last week, he'd run away from Egypt. He'd got married to Jethro's daughter. And now we're at the bit where he's seen the burning bush. So we're going to continue from there. So yes, yeah, so Moses went up this mountain and he'd been looking after his father-in-law's sheep at the time. When he got to the top, he saw a bush that was on fire. But there was something special about this bush. You see, if you set something on fire, it burns up and eventually it just turns to ash. But this particular bush didn't do that. It didn't turn to ash and it didn't burn up. So he was curious and I thought, I need to go and see this bush that's burning, but yet it's not disappearing. But as he got closer, he heard a voice saying, stop, Moses, you need to stop and take off your shoes because you are standing on holy ground. <gasps> Moses realised that he was in the very presence of God and that God was talking to him through the burning bush. So he did. He took off his shoes one by one and then he knelt on the ground before God because he knew that he served a God that was holy and majestic and worthy. And God began to speak to him through the bush and he said, Moses, I've heard the cries of my people in Egypt. They are desperate. They are being treated so badly by Pharaoh and they have been made into slaves for hundreds of years. And now I need to rescue them, but I'm going to use you to rescue them. Moses thought, me? And he said, Lord, Lord, I can't do that. He said, they'll not believe that you've sent me. So God said, what's that in your hand? Now, when Moses was looking after sh the sheep, he had a big stiff stick called a rod. And with that, he used to use the rod to help to guide the sheep where they needed to go. So he said, well, I've got a rod. So God said to him, Moses, throw that rod on the ground. So Moses threw it to the ground. <gasps> it turned into a snake. <gasps> Moses was so scared, he ran away. A snake slithering on the ground. God said, pick it back up. Moses very carefully bent down and he picked the snake up <gasps> and it turned back into a stick. Then God said, let me prove again that I am God and I can do anything. He said, put your hand inside your shirt. My hand? God said, yes, put it inside your shirt. So he did, he put it in. And then when he pulled it out, oh, it had got blotches all over it. It got a disease that was called leprosy. Oh, God said, Put your hand back in your shirt again. He very quickly did because he didn't like how his hand looked. Well, and he pulled it out. Oh my goodness, his hand was better again. So now he knew that God could perform miracles, but he was still a little afraid. And he said, oh, but Lord, you know, they're not going to listen to me. Well, you can hear that I can't speak very well. Oh, they're not going to listen to what I've got to say. So God said, okay, tell you what then, you've got an older brother, Aaron. Moses said, yeah. God said, Aaron can do the talking for you, but you've still got to go. So that was that. So Moses said, okay, Lord, I'm going to go and through, with your help, we're going to rescue the people of Israel. So that is the story of the burning bush. Now we can learn a couple of things from that. First of all, we can learn that when we're in the presence of God, we're on holy ground and that God is worthy of our worship. And in Bible times, by taking your shoes off, that was showing that you actually respected God. The other thing we need to learn from that is that we can trust God, that God is a mighty God of miracles. And no matter what God asks us to do, he's going to be there with us. 
And we've just got to trust him. We've got to trust that he's going to bring the right people alongside us. Like in Moses' case, they brought Aaron and his brother along. God is with us always. And he will show up in all different ways. He might show up with a burning bush. He might show up by turning a stick into a, a, stick into a snake. He might show up by doing miraculous healing. Or he might just show up by asking you to trust that he's with you all the time. All right, guys, have a brilliant week and enjoy the rest of life, kids. It's great fun, isn't it? See you soon. Bye. Amazing. Just knowing that God can speak to you wherever you are, no matter what you're doing and through anything as well. I'm like, if I'd seen a bush that was on fire that just kept burning and burning and burning, I don't think I'd be wanting to go near it. And if I threw a stick on the ground and it turned to a snake, I don't think I'm going to go close to that. I'm going to go the other way and say, God, I'm not sure what you're doing, but I'm not going near that stick. But knowing that God can speak to us however, whenever and wherever is so important for you guys to know. That you could be asleep and God might speak to you. You could be walking outside, going to the shops or in the shops with your parents or your adult. God might speak to you. So it's just remembering to always be listening and looking out for what God might be saying to you. What is Jesus saying to you this week? Okay. Thank you very much, Donna. That was just amazing. So some of the stuff you've just told us there about that story is awesome. We're going to go into game number two this week. And we've done this game twice. We did it a few weeks ago and we did it last week. But for me, this is one of the most important games that we can do in life, kids. And yes, it's Draw Your Sword. We're going to play Draw Your Sword again this week because it's an important game and it's going to help us to know our Bible better. All right, so I'm going to give you six different things from the Bible. So grab your Bible, stick it under your arm. I'm not going to do that myself because my arm's still a bit painful. Pop it under your arm, get ready, and we're going to go with the first one. Okay, so the first one this morning is, and you've got to type it in the chat. If you want to use the contents page at the beginning, definitely do that. Right, what is the fourth book of the Old Testament? The fourth book of the Old Testament, okay? You've got 30 seconds to find it, go. Fantastic. Now I hope most of you went to the Old Testament and didn't go to the New because we haven't, we haven't gone through all the Old Testament ones yet. Right, the second one for today is the book we've been learning from, the book about Moses. And it's Exodus chapter 4. What does verse 4 and the fourth word say? So Exodus chapter 4, fourth verse, what's the fourth word? Okay, 4, 4, 4, 4. Go. quick what's the second book of the New Testament the second book of the New Testament go Psalms 28, what does the ninth word say? Psalms 28 in the ninth word.
tricky one. Okay, grab your con Bible on your arm. Are we ready? Don't get your fingers in it. I told you that last week. Don't be putting your fingers in there to cheat. Right. You want how many chapters? How many chapters are in the book of Matthew? Okay. How many chapters in the book of Matthew? Go. This one should be a bit easier and you can use your contents page if you need to, but hopefully you won't because we've mentioned this a few times in life kids. The last one for today, how many books in the Bible? How many books in the Bible? No asking an adult, you've got to work this one out yourself, go. Superb. So we've done our two games this week. We've learned about the fact that God can speak to us through anything and anywhere. We've done our second game, drawing our sword, and I'm really hoping you guys are getting involved in that and learning your Bible more. So the challenge for this week was a sock. You needed a sock. So most of you would have seen last week, and I dislocated my shoulder, and I had some challenges this week and last week that I had to try and figure out how to do. So one of those challenges was putting a sock on, one-handed, on your own with no help. Okay. So you've got to get your sock, you've got to put it on your foot with one hand. That's your challenge this week. Okay, I've managed it, it is possible. Message me, let me know if you managed to do it. All right, I'm just going to pray and we're going to finish Life Kids for today. Dear God, I thank you for today. I thank you that you've given us the start of our summer holiday. It's a time where we've come to speak to you, we've come to worship you, and we've had some fun together. I pray you give us a fantastic week. Help us to have fun, help us to keep safe with no injuries, no harm, and just to have a great time for the start of the summer holidays. And God, help us to listen out for what you have to say to us this week. Amen. Okay, remember, listen out to what Jesus and God might say to you this week. Where, wherever you are, is there something that God wants to say to you? Have a great week, and I will see you all next week. Love you all. Bye.